To start this guide off, you're going to want to place Quincy right here. And if you cannot tell what we're doing today by the thumbnail, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can level up some of the more difficult monkeys in this game, such as the glue gunner, the banana farm, the village, and the spike factory. I'm going to be giving you guys a general guide and kind of like some shortcuts you can take to level up all four of them at once. And obviously, I'm going to be making this as easy as possible for all you guys. Now you can either play this on Cubism, which is the map I'm playing it now, or you can play on a more difficult map, or an easier map like Logs. Now I like to start it off with two glue gunners, just so our Quincy can get a little bit of help. And do not worry, because Quincy will not be taking away our XP from our glue gunners, so our glue gunners right now are gaining 100% of the XP. And I know that eventually we're gonna start to get overwhelmed with balloons, so I'm gonna start to place some spike factories in the back and probably get these into 3 2 zeros. Now, I already have some of the levels unlocked for all of these towers that we're doing today, but... Even if you have these guys at about level 0, no XP, you should still be able to easily follow this. Just maybe instead of getting a spike factory if you do not have these upgrades, get a triple dart dart, triple shot dart monkey instead. It'll work out perfectly fine and you'll also be gaining a lot of XP for your monkeys. Now that I have a pretty solid defense that can at least last me until about round 30, I'm going to start to farm. And I am doing this on my new account, so you should also be able to easily follow this even if you have no monkey knowledge and nothing like that. I'm just going to upgrade our spike factory into spike balls and now we should be fine. I got a 200 village and range of our spike factory right here. And then I sold this glue gunner and got ourselves a balloon liquefier. I also upgraded him into glue splatter as well. Now our defense should be good for a while, so I'm going to start to farm again. And from this setup here, you are gaining XP for your banana farm, glue gunner, spike factory, and village. So you're basically doing every single one of them at once. Which makes this strategy extremely strong and... Almost every, any new player can do this as well, just from how simple it is. Next, I'm going to fit a little discount village right here so I can get a range of all the banana farms. Now, on round 51, I made sure I got some camo for the camo ceramic, just because I have a feeling that our glue gunner is going to get a little overwhelmed. But after you've upgraded into four marketplaces, you are done with the banana farming. These guys will be gaining a bunch of XP just like this. And probably at the end of this, we'll be able to unlock another tier 4. Now we're going to get this village up here into a primary mentoring and radar scanner just to buff up our glue gunner and gain more XP for our village. Now we're going to save up for the spike mines. And then just like that we've unlocked spike mines. Now at this point we basically completed this hard run, however for example let's say you wanted to upgrade your spike factor because you have XP on your banana farm and glue gunner. Now here's what I would do. I'd get more spike factories in the back just like, like finding good space just like this and I'd also upgrade this guy into a spike mines. This would mean that your spike factories are going to be gaining more XP than your glue gunner and banana farms. Same goes with the village or even banana farms and glue gunners. If you need more XP on that category then just get more of those towers. And for the glue gunner you can just sell these banana farms and upgrade them into the balloon solver and that'll be an easy win. And wow, look at that, we unlocked our first tier 5 for the spike factory, the Burma Spike. Now just to set an example for you guys, I'm going to be selling all of my spike factories and I'm going to be saving up for the Burma Spike. Because once you get the Burma Spike, you should easily destroy the ZMG and get yourself a nice and easy hard metal. However, it's not the end of the tutorial yet, but boom, we got the Burma Spike. And at this point, you can just AFK until you win. Unless, like I've always been saying, you want to upgrade a certain monkey like the glue gunner or the banana farm or the village. Now I have nothing else to talk about, so I think I'm going to end the video. Then, let's just say we're on round 80, you should easily destroy the ZUMG and get yourself a nice and easy hard metal. And uh, hopefully you guys found out an easier way to level up any of these monkeys that you wanted to before. Thank you guys.